Hello everybody, today I gotta to explain the toString method using Java. The toString method is inherited from the object class. Whenever you create an object, behind the scenes, the object class is a superclass. The toString method is used to return a string representation of an object if you were to output it directly using system.out.println. The default behavior of the toString method is that it returns a hash code as a unique identifier for that object but it can be overridden to provide meaningful details, which is why we've learned about method overriding in the last video. In this demonstration, let's create a new class. File, new, class. We will create a car class. Let's say that all cars should have the following attributes. A string of make, who manufactures the car. A string of model, what's the model of the car? Int year for the year, and string color for the color. We'll need a constructor, and then we'll assign these attributes. We have a string of make, a string of model, an int of year, and a string of color. Then we'll assign these attributes. This.make equals make, this.model equals model, this.year equals year, this.color equals color. That looks good enough for now. Going back to our main Java file, we'll construct a car object. Car car equals new car. But we have to pass in the details for our car constructor. Our car constructor requires a make, a model, a year, and a color. So pick a car that you like. I like Ford Mustangs. I'll pick a Ford Mustang. The make will be Ford. Model will be Mustang. I need a year, 2025, and a color. I'll pick the color red. Car is an object. If I were to output my car object directly using system.out.println, here's what you'll see. If you output your car directly, technically you'll be given a hash code, a unique identifier for that car object. Hashing is kind of an advanced topic that I don't want to introduce right now. But typically with hashing, it's a unique identifier that uses the object's memory address to calculate a hash. You don't need to know any more than that right now. But wouldn't it be useful if we were to print our car object directly? We were given the details of the car. Normally what we would have to do is output something like this. This is if we wanted to output the details of the car. We could say something such as car.color, that would be first, plus a space character, plus car dot, what should be next? Let's say the year. Color, year, then make and model. Car dot make, plus a space, plus car dot model. This print line statement is giving us meaningful details of this car object. This is the output. Red 2025 Ford Mustang. It would be nice if we were to print our car object directly using print or print line. We could be given these details instead. Well, we can do that with method overriding. Going to our car class, we will be overriding a method. We need the at override annotation. We do need this keyword of public. This is a publicly accessible method. The return type is string. The name of the method is to string. Everything within this print line statement, we're going to cut and delete this print line statement. Going to our car class within the toString method, we have to return a string because we set the return type to be a string. We promised that we would return a string. Let's paste all the details of that car. We'll need to replace car with this. This refers to the object we're currently working with. Then add a semicolon to the end. If we were to print our car object directly using this print line statement, or a print statement, or even printf, instead of that hash code, we're instead given meaningful details of that car that we've customized. The car's color, year, make, and model. We have overridden the toString method that's normally available to all objects. Let's construct another car object. Let's rename car as car1. We'll have car, car2 equals new car. Pick some different details for a car. 
I will pick a Chevrolet Corvette. The year will be 2026, and the color will be blue. I'll print car one, then print car two. Here's car one and car two. Car two is a blue 2026 Chevrolet Corvette. All right, everybody, so that is the two-string method. Objects inherit from the object class. The object class does have a two-string method, but it can be overridden so that when you print an object directly, you can display meaningful details, such as the details of that object, instead of displaying a hash code if you were to print the object. It's pretty useful at times. And well, everybody, that is the two-string method in Java.